Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, I will walk you through the steps to enable the administrator protection feature on Windows 11. At the time of this recording, the feature is available in the Canary channel with the release of Windows 11, Bill 27, 774 and higher releases. So what is administrator protection? In short, administrator protection is a security feature on Windows 11 designed to enhance the security of the accounts with administrative privileges. Typically, users in the administrator's group can modify system settings and install apps without any restrictions. While these capabilities are useful, they also present significant security risks as malicious actors can exploit them to compromise the system. Administrator protection helps to mitigate these risks by reducing the chance of users making system-level changes by mistake and preventing malware from silently making unauthorized modifications. Although this might sound familiar, administrator protection isn't the same as the user account control or UAC. Microsoft defines the user account control as a, a more of defense in depth feature. While administrator protection has been designed to ensure that any access to or tampering with the code or data of an elevated session does not execute with a proper confirmation by the user. In short, user account control focuses on system-wide changes notifications, strengthens the security model significantly for admin accounts by minimizing privilege misuse. Okay, let's dive into the steps. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Now, for a little bit of context, I'm just going to go to File Explorer and here I have two applications. One is a known and another one is an unknown application. So if we double click this one, we can see that we get the user account control experience. And here you can just simply click yes. And then the system's going to execute the application and it will run with administrator privileges. And here we get a similar prompt, but we can see that the design is a little bit different with, with a light yellow color scheme that highlights that this particular application might not be good for your computer. Okay, now if we want to enable the new administrator protection feature, on Windows 11, open start and look for the Windows security app. And from here, we're going to go to account protection. And then at the bottom of the page, you're going to see a new entry called administrator protection. And in here, we're just going to click this link to open the settings page. There is only one option right here. So we just need to turn this on. And then to complete applying the changes, we need to restart the computer. Now, let me give you a quick demo of the new feature enabled. So I'm going to open File Explorer and I'm going to go to the same location as before. And as you can see, we have the two applications. And when you run it, you can now notice that the prompt is from Windows Security. So this is the administrator protection prompt. And you can click right here to get a little more information about the program. In this case, the program location. And you can click yes to allow the application to run as an administrator. Or you can click no to prevent the app from executing. Now, let me run this application that Windows doesn't like very much. So as you can see, we get a similar prompt, but with a light yellow color scheme that gives you the sense that this application might not be good for your computer. You have seen that the system didn't ask to authenticate with Windows Hello or your account password. And this is experience that I received by default when I enabled the feature on Windows 11. But I'm also going to show you how to enable this through group policy if you're running Windows 11 Pro or Enterprise. And then I'm going to show you that you can actually change this behavior as well. So you can choose to get a prompt to authenticate using Windows Hello before you can run the application. Now, to enable this feature through group policy, do this. Open star and look for group policy. Now, let's open Windows settings and then let's open security settings. From here, we're going to go to local policies and then we're going to open the security options. Now, at the bottom of the page, you're going to find this user account control configure type of admin approval mode. Right click on it and select the properties option. From this menu, select the admin approval mode with administrator protection. Click apply and click OK. And now, now right click on this policy and select the properties option. And from this menu, we're going to choose the prompt or credentials on the secure desktop and then click apply and click OK. Now you want to restart the computer to apply the changes, but because I already have enabled this feature on my computer, I don't have to restart the device. Now, just to give you a quick demo on File Explorer, I'm going to run the same two applications. And as you can see, now we get the same experience with the difference that now we have to authenticate with Windows Hello. As you can see, now I can run the application. And also let me just run this application so you can see how this prompt looks. 
As you can see, we get a different theme. So you, you can tell that this application might not be good for your computer. And here, if you want to run the application, you can authenticate with Windows Hello, or you can click no to prevent the system from running that particular application. Now, you're going to say that this is similar to the user account control, but like I said at the beginning of the video, they're not the same feature. And let me explain a little bit. So once you approve the task, Windows 11 will create an isolated administrator token using a system generated separate user account. This token is used only for the duration of the task, and then it is destroyed immediately after. According to Microsoft, this ensures that administrator privileges are not persistent and each subsequent request for elevator rights repeats the entire process maintaining a secure environment. And on the other hand, the user account control only prevents the execution of a particular task and you can approve it or you can stop it from happening on the system. Now, if you don't want to use the feature anymore, you have to disable it in the same way that you enable it. For example, if you use the Windows Security app and then from Account Protection, we need to open the Administrator Protection Settings page and from here, you need to turn off the feature. And then you need to restart the computer to complete the process. Now, if you use group policy, you need to open group policy one more time. And then you need to make sure to open this policy and select the legacy admin option. Click apply, click OK. And then from here, you want to select the prompt consent on secure desktop option. And then restart the computer that should disable and that should disable the feature on the computer restoring the user account control experience now if that user account control experience was disabled you won't get any prompts to run elevated tasks okay that's how you enable and disable the administrator protection feature on windows 11. let me know in the comments what you think about this feature and also let me know in the comments what type of content you would like to see me cover more in this channel and also like the video subscribe to the channel and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing